Hi, Aachen from Inner Space Explorers. I received a few questions from patrons asking me about my opinion or advice on dives deeper than 40 meter and how they could do it, but do it safely without using helium. The simple answer to that is you can't. Obviously, there is people diving way deeper than 40 meters on air and they come back up. Fair enough. Also, there was a lot of deep air diving in the past and uh, I would lie to you if I would say that I didn't do that. But there's a huge difference if somebody in the late 70s or early 80s uh, did deep dives on air claiming that there's no other way of going deep. I'm also thinking about like the, um, like the wreck divers of New York that started diving the mud hole in the 70s and there was no helium or training for helium etc. available. And so they pushed the, uh, the boundaries further and further and further but they also had fatalities and accidents. And um, with today's knowledge, it is completely unresponsible to promote, teach, recommend, and obviously dive deeper than the known limits on air. Air is simply the worst gas to decompress from, even if you then use nitrox or oxygen to speed up your decompression. Um, and even if you would consider the oxygen limit of 1.6 slash 66 meters with air the absolute limit, I guarantee you that your um, partial pressure of nitrogen, your narcosis level, is so bad that there's no reasonable work to be done down there and especially if the shit hits the fan and as we all know our permanent dive buddy Murphy is always with us and the shit will hit the fan it's not a question if it's, a, it's the, the, the question is when it will happen and um, the other thing is how long do you want to stay there I mean um, if you want to achieve something on greater depths Air is simply the wrong guess because you will not function to the best of your abilities. And I even take helium on way shallower dives if I want to perform. To give you an example, most of you know that I'm very much into underwater photography. So let's say I do a 25 to 30 meter dive doing photography and I look at a series of pictures that I did doing a dive like this on Nitrox for example and the same dive on Triox the quality of the pictures of the Triox dive are significantly better than the ones I do on, uh, on, on Nitrox or Air and it's not that I'm knocked at 25 meters or 30 meters but obviously the small details like doing super wide angle and then suddenly I see that the cable from the strobe is somewhere in the picture afterwards when I look at the pictures. That's stuff that doesn't happen if I breathe helium. So there is a clear benefit. So but now we talk diving within all air limits 25-30 meters and even there there is a, um, there's a significant difference when I use helium so that means there is an effect there is an acrosis effect that you probably don't really realize it's a little bit like you have a beer and then drive a car of course you don't feel a huge difference or probably you don't feel any difference at all but it could be proven that your reaction time is already slower than if you would have no beer and uh, so now talking about 50 or 60 meters it is drastic um, it's not just a little bit or it's like yeah, yeah, it'll work somehow it is drastic there's another point the deeper I go the higher my PO2 is so the, the philosophy that we normally follow is that we want to reduce our PO2 on greater depths to kind of spare some of that CNS clock to be used in our decompression so if I have a low PO2 first of all I would reduce my risk of um, of any um, oxygen toxicity at greater depths and uh, the other thing is that 
I gain a lot of CNS if I have extended decompression, especially if I, if I decompress with oxygen enriched gases like 50% or even pure oxygen. So if I use the wrong gas, in that case air, to go deeper, um, I get very close to my 1.6 limit. So if I already have 1.6 or even worse on the bottom, I build up a lot of on my CNS clock, then how do I want to effectively decompress from that without again running into CNS, simple, uh, CNS issues. So as much as I'm sorry about that, um, there is no recommendation or there is no guideline or rule or whatever that allows you to do safe diving beyond these limits not using the proper gases. So if you want to dive deeper than 40 meters and you want to be safe, in my opinion, if you want to dive deeper than 30 meters and follow proper safety rules, then you dive with super helium. And um, yeah, I know, uh, accessibility of helium has uh, got worse the last couple of years and um, prices also went up. So if you dive a lot, a rebreather definitely is the solution for that. And that, that's what I do. And you don't see me diving open circuit helium at all. I always dive my KISS. And if you do it just from time to time, the um, financial impact is not so big. But what you gain from the dives is a lot more regarding photography, documentary, uh, documentation, and also your memories on these dives. I did so many stupid deep air dives 25, 30 years ago where I have no real clue um, to, to finish this chapter, I will give you a quick story slash example. Um, I was working with a German TV channel on a dive, uh, on, on a wreck in the Baltic Sea that sits at around 50 meters and it was in the mid 90s and it was air diving. So Baltic Sea, it's dark, it's murky water, um, huge wreck. So I took the camera, I went down there, I think I did 30 minutes on the bottom or something like that. I came up and this guy held the microphone in front of my face and was like, okay, Mr. Schluffel, how was the dive? What did you see? What can you tell us? And I was like, what? murky water. I mean, nothing special, nothing, nothing that's worth mentioning. Later on, we checked my tape and actually I was filming a helm, a steering helm, and um, which was pretty beautiful. And I was filming it for more than a minute, just holding on to it, but I couldn't remember that sequence after the dive which actually should make you scratch your head and the funny thing is i also couldn't find this again on a on repetitive dives i just couldn't find it anymore and um, that was one of these points for me when i realized hmm, something's probably really wrong with what we're doing because if if i film something for an ex a complete minute focusing on it and then 20 minutes later i can't remember that i did it how would I have reacted if I would have gotten into serious trouble, like entangle myself or get a ruptured hose or uh, whatever? Um, so yeah, sorry for that. There is no recommendation for what you what you ask, and I can just strictly um, encourage you to take a course um, using helium based mixtures and then dive deeper in the safest possible way. If you have questions, comments, please use the comment section if you're one of my patrons or you want to become one. Um, obviously we discuss this in great detail in the patron section. Um, you can contact me privately of course and I'm happy to answer all your questions. And um, if you like this please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. And if you subscribe, please hit that little bell so you get notification when I upload new content. Thanks for watching, dive safe, and I'll see you in the next video.